uh, keeping more awesome. or less on top of stuff at work and uh, just, uh, you know, not sleeping enough, but we talked about that earlier. Who is Yeah. Anyway? Nobody. Not me. Fanatics and weirdos, that's who. Damn straight. <laughs> Damn straight. Uh, All right. Right. Let's see what happens here. I did finish the main story on God of War Ragnarok the other day. That was pretty awesome. Oh, that's pretty sick. Congratulations, dude. They did a good job. They really did. Oh, I imagine so. I'm very impressed with Santa Monica Studios. They do such a good job. Honestly, they really do. They work really hard. Mm-hmm. Well, like I said, I, I'm, it, I'm really impressed with anybody who... Tries? Like, like right... <laughs> Well, <laughs> but it like writes a good story and is able to put together something that that is compelling that way. But with video games, just like with movies, you've got to do it by coordinating with like hundreds of people. Oh yeah, like, especially like, in large AAA studios like that. Yep, it is like the difficult. Go on forever. Right? Oh yeah, forever long. It's crazy. It's Same with like any Ubisoft game, good or bad. There's mm -hmm. a billion people who worked on it. <laughs> Whether or not they did a good job. Yeah, regardless of whether or not they did a good job. Sometimes they do. Some Ubisoft games are great. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. <laughs> oh, we're downloading the map. There you mm -hmm. go. I've really been liking Insomniac Studios a lot lately, too. I haven't played Spider-Man 2 yet, but that's on my list. Sure. No, I, I, I had assumed you'd already beaten it, honestly. <laughs> I still haven't bought it yet. I need to go yeah. buy it. <laughs> I need to go freaking buy it. That is I'm debating whether spot. to... Yeah, I'm debating whether or not to wait for it to come out on PC or if I should just go get the PS5 version. You know what I mean? Ah, ooh. I don't know. I, I feel like... Because eventually it'll make its way out to PC and the Spider-Man and Spider-Man Miles Morales ports are really good. Like, oh, so that was going to be my question, because the ports to PC have been rough in the AAA world for a little while now. I feel like every time one comes out, there's like that's a true. swarm of complaining. But if the, if the other true. Insomniac ones have gone well, then that's that's cool. Yeah, and then, for the most part, it seems like the Sony exclusives port over pretty well, actually. Hmm. Um, I don't really hear a lot of complaints, other than the first time that they tried to port over, like Days Gone, the first time that they tried to port that over. They okay, had to sit okay. there and fix it for a while. But for the most part, Sony exclusive <laughs> games tend to port over pretty well. Nice. Or or at least they put in some effort, you know. Whether they be the yeah, Naughty yeah. Dog games or whether they be whether they be the Santa Monica Studio games, like the God of War twenty eighteen, that apparently is right. a wonderful mm -hmm. port. Oh, um good. the Spider Man games ported over well. Um I hear that the Ratchet and Clank game ported over well, but I've got it for PS five, so not much reason to buy it twice, right? But yeah, sure. I hear it ported over well. That's nice. Well, there you go. All right. Um, so, space exploration. So last time, I did big loop-de-loop -loop to clear out the area around our pollution cloud. Mm -hmm. I know we were thinking about training in more materials and trying to um, trying to city block this thing. Yeah, that's definitely a priority. Um, I'm trying to remember because I, before starting on that, I think it was because of, what am I trying to say? Stop, think, talk. I, cause I'm done here on setting up petroleum and trying to get chemical science going, but I'm trying to remember why. I think like the plastic that all... they have anyway, the, the red circuits and stuff. If I remember I right, the look... blue science will get us all sorts of stuff. Obviously it gets us bots. Um, it gets us the rocket Ooh. ship funnily enough. Um, <laughs> does it get us the jetpack? The jetpack would be nice. It gets us. It, it basically gets yes, us it bots. Does. So that's obviously a really good stepping point, right? Getting bots helps out with everything. Yeah, sure. Personal robo port yeah, um, all the way through. Um, yeah, it also gets us really laser turrets, which here, are nice yeah. too. Mm, that would be lovely. So that way we can set up um, more automated defense, and we're not worrying about trying to um, load up turrets with ammo. Mm -hmm, we can just mm -hmm. spam a whole bunch of laser. Yes. 
you know, oh, until God, the coronal mass ejections come and we have to build the giant mirror or something that absorbs all that or whatever we got to do for that. <laughs> whatever, the, whatever happens there, yeah. Right. That just completely blacks out our factory as it tries to absorb the power of the freaking sun. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear about that part. That sounds pretty cool. It's sort of a Mr. Burns kind of way. Yeah. I mean, I was watching a Dosh video of it when he was doing space exploration, right? And yeah, he was like, yeah, I built this big mirror kind of thing, I guess. And you have to power it, right? And its job is to basically stop the coronal mass ejections, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, from burning down your factory. <laughs> yeah, which you don't want them to do. That's bad right. when that happens. Right. So you build that big ass mirror or whatever, right? And it requires power to absorb the coronal mass ejections, right? Mm -hmm. And it requires a lot of power to the point where Dosh was just like, yep, and my whole factory went dark. And <laughs> 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 because it just took all the power. <laughs> it all did, wow. So during the coronal mass ejection, cool. everything just shut down. Like, just <laughs> go to power Ooh. this mirror. Hold on a minute. <laughs> Nothing Hang else on. is happening. <laughs> Just keeping everything from dying and exploding, you know. Do we have electric furnaces yet? Or is that a blue science? Maybe that's what we're trying to shoot for. Because I we wanted to it may we be. wanted to produce on or we wanted to smelt on site, right? So that way we can just train it wherever. Yes, electric furnaces are a blue science thing. Yeah. Yeah, we can't build them yet. So maybe that's why we're bum rushing blue science right now, so we could actually like so we can smelt with where our miners site, are and true. then train. All right, let's well let's let's do it. We're gonna, we're gonna need to set up at least some red red circuit process and to get it going. I wonder if it's worth doing like a dedicated greed to red just for the blue science. We Maybe that in as a separate thing. Let's see what does um, what do red chips in this game need? No, oh, it's actually yeah, the oh, same recipe. Hmm. Well, mm -hmm. I think it's not quite the same recipe, but it's it's still the same. It's still the same core layout: green circuits, copper cable, plastic bars. So typically, yeah. typically the layout I use goes something like, oh, I need some more assembly machines. But um, typically the layout I do is pretty simple. It's, it's literally just boom, boom, one circ uh, one cable machine into one red machine, and then I run, and then I run a lane in and a lane out, and then a lane in for copper, and that's literally it on both sides. So then you output with the red inserter right on this side, and right, then you rinse and repeat on the other and, side. Uh... So the green Vincent circuits plastic there. go in from the right there. Yeah, okay. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So this is green circuits plastic sharing one belt. And then this mm -hmm. is copper. And then you again do copper on the other side too. And yeah. then you just insert from the far side, right? So you've got the two red longhand inserters. And then you just, you know, you input from here yeah, yeah. and output there. I, I, I like that design. I think we could snake the plastic in pretty near where you've put this down. And rather than stealing the green circuits from up above, put in... Just a little bit more green circuit production just about here to feed into the red so we're not stealing the green from whatever else is going on. Um, well, to be fair, like our said, green's completely backed up right now. It's not doing true. anything. So I think that's we can just true. pull it from our bus and just okay. do like, do like what? Like 10, 20 red circuits or something like that per cycle? Yeah, I think that's what it'll take. Hang on, because blue science... Because it three. still takes a year and a half to craft, right? Yeah, six seconds. Yeah, it's still 36 seconds. Oh, God. 36 seconds to craft. No, one no just six. Back. Oh, sorry. I was talking about the red oh. chips. Yeah, yeah, it'll be, yeah, for the, for, yeah, for the blue science. You get three for, for 36 seconds worth of time. Let's see. For the science... So you need red circuits, you need cylinder engines. Oh, I mean, if you're going to try to build the science creation structure, we can just put the, we can just put the red circuit part into your science column, right? So we drag the bus along, and then we split from the bus everything that we need, and then you include red science in your, in your column, right? You'll mm. just build whatever you need for the science so you can ratio it out. Yeah. Yeah, Do you know what I mean? That one. Yeah, yeah. So, for example, blue science needs three, three red circuits per cycle. They take thirty-six mm -hmm. seconds to craft a red circuit. One red circuit takes six, so that means one re one red circuit machine in an ideal situation can support two, two science assembly machines. Two science. So, assembly. if you want like mm -hmm. twenty blue science per cycle, 
you need, need 10, 10 maybe 12 red circuit machines in order to account for the buffering. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So let's stay with that. Okay. And you just add that to the column. And then sulfur crafts ridiculously fast. You probably only need one, maybe two chem plants of that. Yeah. And then I'll, multi cylinder yeah. engines, those take 10 seconds to craft. So again, I would build. I'd build one multi-cylinder engine assembly for every two science you want to build. So again, 10 multi-cylinder engines. About 10 to, tw about 10 to 12 of 10 those. To, sure. Yeah, 10 to 12 of those. Okay. And then we should be good. Easy enough. Yeah, so let me go ahead and extend this bus out and clear the trees and crap, and we'll just, we'll just pull the resources down that we need. Sounds good. Blue science is always an exciting milestone. Oh yeah, especially in space exploration. Apparently, considering it takes us, it gives us the rocket. Yeah, right. We'll and get up obviously, in space the rocket unlocks us. rocket science. But yeah, such is the plan. I'm going to put a few more lights down. By the way, just quick heads Wild. up. Hmm. I decided to finally bite the bullet and start a series of default settings. So I can finally oh, learn how the, to deal with, with biters proper. And... Yeah, so I can ah. finally learn how to deal with them proper since I don't deal with them ever. So... <laughs> since I don't deal with them if I can get away with it. Yeah, right. Since I'm either playing peaceful or turning off expansion or, or just <laughs> yep. disabling them entirely like I did in my casually launching rocket. You know, just like not even right, getting sure. crap. I'm not even going to deal with that i don't care yeah mm -hmm. yeah so i finally decided to I bite the bullet it. and today i recorded my first episode of that series where i'm just like finally ah. finally doing it all right plan. <laughs> i've got that scheduled to come out friday because i have a starcraft episode coming up tomorrow so ah okay very good then we should look forward to it yes and then of course every time we have a session i post that too so tonight's will probably come out saturday nice that sounds good. I think I don't want to get too distracted here. I'm wondering about setting up at least a notional cliff explosives production. That might be helpful. That. I'll start working on lot. setting up the science if you want to set up cliffs. Um, sure. We we are going to need iron, but eventually. But I think for now we probably still have enough to survive. So let's see. Let's start with the components, right? So sulfur. Sulfur requires chem plant, and then that's water, petroleum, gas. I'm going to go and put two chem plants down. Do I have chem plants in my inventory right now? I do not. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Do we have chem we have plants in the mall? Uh, yes, we do. You, you did set that up. Yay, go that's past me. Open. Past me is a genius. Brilliant. Because present, present me, me is... were as smart as bad. <laughs> I w yeah, exactly. Present me is kind of eh lately. <laughs> present me's been struggling lately. All right. I don't know why I grabbed two stacks of camp plants. I'm literally only going to need two of them. Uh... <laughs> I've got sulfur coming up from down here too. I mean, we're already making that. Where is? Well, right alongside the plastic. I need more belts. It's just not going to work without them. So where do you have your petroleum coming out of? So that way just I can write right it. down. Yeah, just okay. just down there. It's all blessed there. There's nothing bigger complicated about it so far. Okay, I need to grab pipes because I don't have those either. Okay. I'm obviously very ill-equipped in general. <laughs> because I was killing stuff last time and I did not yeah, really right. Why gather any waste equipment. Why would space on that? What uses stone? Because I have like a bajillion stone I need to just dump somewhere. I know what I can um, do. Well, like we're actually automating landfill at the moment, so that's the usual go-to. But Green circuits do, don't they? Do they use stone? Oh, they do well, use yeah, stone. They, they oh, the, no. Yeah, they, the, the, they use they, brick. The plates do. Oh, you're right. It's brick. That's, that's okay. I can dump the stone into the brick machines over here. They just weren't in range of shift -Z. Hmm. I was looking for a quick and easy way to dump that stuff. All right, coal. Dump the coal, please. Thank you. There's that. 
What uses red circuits? Nothing at the moment. Blue science will. <laughs> Is it possible to change the mod setting in um, Alien Biomes to like not slow down the run speed, please? I don't know. Oh, it's only at startup. They can't be changed while the game's running. I have to do it from the main it's menu. Decide at the beginning of the game. Oh, or, or, just, oh, or just in the main before menu you before you load it. Okay. Makes sense. I'm half tempted to quit out and just be like, hold on, I'm fixing this. I'm tired of running slower than molasses. I'm sand. I'm of sick of this. It gets, it gets everywhere. Alien biomes look so cool and it's so awesome and all the other cool things about it except for the run slow. <laughs> All right, let's get some pipes and underground pipes. Let's grab like four stacks of undergrounds and like four stacks of regular pipes. Okay. And then. And then down here in your oil rig. Where are you processing? Oh, here you are. Okay. Oh, you've already got sulfur. Maybe I just steal the sulfur instead of your yeah. petroleum. Maybe I just steal just the sulfur that. itself. Yeah, go for it. Why not? Because we're not using it for anything. Yeah, no, again, not a present. Well, that was very much the intention. So I'm just going to throw it onto our bus thingy dingy, and then I'm going to just steal it. There you go. And why not? Oh, I might as well just throw plastic on the bus too while we're at it. Agreed. Here, you get to join the Green Circuit Squad. Because I'm not organizing this bus. I'm just not going to do it. I don't care. <laughs> just, just don't care. Because we're going to city block anyway. So I'm just bussing the bus to make it easier on myself for right now. Hmm? Not later. Okay. So again, looking at this. So we've already got the sulfur we need. All right, let's do the advanced circuits next. So again, we want, I guess we want 20 science per cycle. That's gonna, yeah, let's, let's see, it takes about 30 seconds to craft. Obviously it takes a little bit more than that, but roughly 30 seconds to craft. So mm -hmm. that means we it would be 40, it would be almost 40 science per minute. It'd be like 30 something science per minute. Mm -hmm. Is that enough to keep our labs happy? You know, honestly, I doubt it. It obviously depends a little bit on what we're researching at any given moment, but it usually we've got like a 30 second turnaround time for any given research. Do yeah, I need to yeah. build it bigger then? I think we probably so do. do. I need... Okay. Blue so science I... takes so darn long to craft. So do we, do I build like 40 of them then? 40 assembly sure. machines worth of that? That I comes out to, that comes out to like 60 ish per minute. Maybe yeah, 70 ish yeah, per minute. Do. Okay. So if I want 40 assembly machines worth of that, that means I'm going to need like. So I'm going to need somewhere around 20 assembly machines of advanced circuits and like 20 assembly machines of the engines. Yeah. All right, well, let's do the red circuit part. Some empty barrel. All we need for that is steel. Yeah, I'm not really automating this. I'm automating making sure we've got a steady supply of explosives kept off at a certain point, but totally we'll fine. Be crafting cliff explosives more or less ad hoc most of the time. Where are the belts? Here's the belts. Hello, belts. Give me all the belts. Thank you. Give me some undergrounds, too, while you're at it. Thank you. Thank you! <laughs> you know what? Give me some blue inserters while you're at it. Where are they? They're over here. Thank you! Because I can use them. 
And you know what? I don't need all these yellow inserters, so take them. Or at least take some of them. Okay. Now I just need some grenades. We can start clearing out cliffs properly and making room. Subduing nature to our whims. Yes. You know, as we do, terraforming the planet. <laughs> Absolutely. That's the nature. Well, terraforming already basically includes planet in the name, so I don't know why I said terraforming the planet. That's pretty redundant. <laughs> I don't know. Does it include just Earth when you say that? Making it look like Earth? I suppose so. I mean, Earth, Earth is pretty concrete. Uh, here are grenades. I'll take a bunch of you. Oh no, I misaligned my stuff I was dropping. Poor me. However will I survive? All is lost. May as well give up now. I know, right? So sad. Make honorable suicide. Honorable. Psh. <laughs> Ah, I'm gonna whine like a little bitch. Exactly. That's that's much more honorable. <laughs> Don't you know? So much more honorable. <laughs> Indeed. Ah, now we get. The oh, also, I'm doing the biter thing unmodded. Unmodded. Oh, it's like total straight up vanilla no matter what. Okay. Yep, total total base that. mod. Because like I'm like, I'm gonna learn this and I'm gonna learn it the way the devs intended. <laughs> the very and painful the, way. Literally the worst possible way. The worst possible way. No overhauls, no help, no nothing. No far reach, no squeak through, no <laughs> bullet trails, no <laughs> no squat. <laughs> I Doing this the hard way. All right, so just to confirm, it is indeed plastic and green circuits, so let's do that. You are making cliff explosives for us. Warehouse. Man, those looks are huge. Do, do, do. Which is what one would expect, so, you know. So there's the plastic. And then there's the green circuits. Look at my glorious splitting. I'm so good at bussing. I really need to stop bussing. <laughs> I'm okay. so good at bussing. Just look at that. It's beautiful. Let's see. Do... How I split that together. Ooh. Pretty. I know, right? No wasted space or nothing. I'm getting way Ooh. too good at pulling stuff off of buses. <laughs> way too good at it. That means I need to do something uncomfy. Alright, so there's all the resources we need. Now let's just get this stuff all hooked up to power. That'll produce cliff explosives for a while. In fact, we already have five of them. Let's blow up some cliffs. Do do blowing up stuff is fun. Do 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 no, we had no because we don't, we don't have enough uh, concrete. I think was the main limiting factor there. We don't have enough oh, concrete efficiently anywhere. That's so sad. You are correct. They need concrete. Ah. Am I Why? Why? Why do I got to use medium power poles for everything? Why? <laughs> All right, fine. Well, that just eats up everything. That just ruins your day, doesn't it? I think we might need to red belt the input for the plastic and green. Oh, no, it's making it down now that the initial 
yank everything has happened when you first turn mm. it on. Okay, never mind. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. Mm. All right, so there's the red circuits. We've already got the sulfur. So now we need the multi-cylinder engines. Multi-cylinder engines need iron gear wheels. Single cylinder engines. Why do single cylinder engines take so little time to produce? That's crazy. They are quick. Steel. Yeah, they're they're basically as quick as gear wheels. I guess you're only making uh, one engine, so or one cylinder. I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it's still it. a whole engine. <laughs> okay, so those take 10 seconds to craft. The single cylinder engines take 0. 0.6 seconds to craft. I'm not going to use 0. 0.6, I'm just going to pretend it takes 0. 0.5. And then deal with, and then just throw a couple extra on there. Yeah. So that means one single cylinder engine assembly can take care of 20 multi cylinder engines. So I would need like two for 20. Sounds about right. That also means I would need two iron gear wheels for 20 multi cylinder engines. And I do need 20 multi cylinder engines for the 40 blue sides. So. Let's start with the gears then, because hmm. that's really easy to do, the gears and then the engines. Okay. I can so. finally get rid of this hole that we've routed things around down here. <laughs> Hooray! Go away, hole. I don't know how Excellent. exploding a hole works, but it's done. Da -da. Okay, iron gear wheels still just take iron plates. Easy peasy. Thank goodness that didn't change. Mm. Alright, so now for engines. I just need two single cylinder engines. And those take iron gear wheels and iron plates. Hooray! Like, I'm going to just do it this way. I'm going to do eh. And then do that. Whoops. That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> of course, now that kink in the bus do. over here looks really silly, but whatever. It's all good. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. So much for cliff explosives. They are being made. So you're working on the engines... And other than that, we just need the sulfur, right? Yep, which you can just pull off the bus now. Yeah, it's already there. So, oakley doakley. So we're almost there. All you got to do now is basically just plop and route. Yeah, I'm gonna start routing the uh, whole thing over to the labs. Okay, so there's that, and then I need twenty. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Clear all these trees. Oh, I got grenades. I forgot about you. Hello, grenades. Why am I <laughs> chopping trees by hand? We even have improved grenades. Yeah, they, they one-shot the trees. Screw you, Lorax. I one-shot your trees. <laughs> uh, can you cliff explosive this for me? Do you have enough yes, cliff explosives can. for this? I definitely do. Murderize those. Boom! Thank you, soldier. <laughs> You are the greatest soldier. Betcha. I do love cliff explosives. Okay, and then you're going to do multi-cylinder engines. And then we're just going to run this right up the middle. And then we're going to do the old... We're going to do the old... Place on the outside, meet in the middle, combine strategy. There we go. Easy peasy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I'll start running. I'll start from the lab end, so by the time I get back with the routing on the science, we'll figure out where that's coming out. I'm sure you already know. I don't. I'll, I, I didn't have that figured out yet. I'm very much a I'll figure that out as I go kind of guy. 
I can't dig it. Actually, let's see. Oh, yeah, because this is coming off. Okay. Okay. We don't actually have to go all that far. Because I have enough landfill to route a few things hither and yon. I have just enough. So all that's powered on, so now all I gotta do is route iron here and here. That will be in good shape, so let's route that iron. Hello, iron. You're going to run out today. <laughs> yep. Because you just have one belt. There just ain't much Actually, belt. it probably won't run out. It's not, it's actually not drawing that much iron. Huh. It'll actually be alright. Good if true. Its death was slightly over exaggerated. <laughs> Just slightly. Rumors of my death have been greatly exaggerated. Do do. This and then up like this. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start setting up the assembly machines for the blue science, and then I'll leave the routing to you. It's on my way there now. Once I murderize all the trees. Absolutely. Okay. So how do Let's I want to do it. this? So let's see. Blue Science takes a year and a half to build. So I can go ahead and combine the sulfur and multi-cylinder engines onto one belt. Do that, you Bobby. What are you doing? And then I can just put the red circuits on its own belt. And then I don't have to worry about belt weaving or using underground belts to get everything there. Okay. That's nice thing. So there's that. And then we're going to do something like Huh, how do I want to combine these two together? Oh, I know what I could do. Also, these aren't building. Oh, I forgot the steel. Crap. Forgot the steel. I forgot the steel, and I did not design that for the steel, so hold on. I gotta tear half of this up. Boo! Let's see. Yeah, Boo, right. indeed. First, first thing we need to put on there, then, is gonna be the heat shielding we need for electric. Uh, uh, what's its? Electric furnaces. And then once we've got that, we can actually do the electric furnaces. Hooray! Okay. The, first, the first two things to do with our blue science, even before bots. Okay. So based on this design, I need to actually run steel cool. right up the middle. Oof. Oof. All right, you know what? Screw that noise. I'm not doing that. <laughs> doing that. I'm going to just rebuild this whole thing. Hold on. Fair enough. I just need I'm to take a little to... bit more space. Uh, I think I'll start routing some trains in the meantime then. Unless there's something else that would be more useful at present. I don't have anything in mind at the moment. Okay. Let me start some, ex some more extraction points. And then, like this, maybe I'll try and fill in the water around some of these weird patches of iron and then try and get them online. Uh-oh. Okay, so let's Meteors. See. Boo. Nothing just nothing. Just I was going to say did they actually hit anything? Nope. Not a blessed thing. Hooray. Nor a cursed thing. Okay. I want that to go down that way. How much steel do these things need? Just two. All right, that's fine. Not too concerned then. And what I can do is I can go and place this here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I can place output here. 
run that out that direction. Let's repeat this side. I'll put that direction. Very good. Now I just got to bring the steel down. Come here, steel. So let's see, how do I want to bring the steel down? I guess I just want to just bring it straight on through. That works for me. Miners, do I have 41? That's not going to be enough. And I'm just going to half belt that. And then with the other with the other uh, iron mining outpost you set up, you're still just yellow belting there, okay? Yeah, I don't know if we have red belts set up at all, to be honest. We, uh, well, we, I mean, we've got them automated. Have, oh. Or, oh no! Oh no! We don't. Those are just because stuck in the chest. Where did those come from? There I, were some in this. Chest I, I stole. don't remember why I handcrafted. Oh, you know what? I think I started automating them and then realized it was eating up way too much iron that we weren't going to be able to use uh, it for anything. And so I gave okay. up and was like, no, we, we can't do that right now. That's not where we're at. Okay, got it. Yeah, I was those. like, we're just not advanced enough for that yet. Absolutely. Understood. Too many resources, okay. too quick being chewed down. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's funny not to think in terms of just like, what you know, what what what's fastest? Like, no, what, yeah, what now it's like, what all? can we actually afford? Yeah. Yeah, we're budgeting our resources. Like Which I'm also not used to doing. Yeah. Yeah. I can't just be the rich guy? What are you talking about? What the hell? Nonsense. That is nonsense. I'm the rich Factorio player. I build what I want when I want it. And I want it now. Right? I want it all now. Don't care how. I want it now. Give it to me. Give it to me now. Okay. Let's see. I need to empty my. Oh, I love being able to set this. The, the more I use the uh, even distribution, the more I'm like, man, this is great. It is a really okay. nice mod. I really miss it whenever I'm playing vanilla now. If I don't want plastic and I don't want steel and I don't want stone, I just... then you just trash slot it and then shift C it. Yeah. And then shift C. You don't even have to trash slot. You can just set your personal logistics request to zero. That's true, too. And then it'll just auto it do just it for auto you. auto empties out whatever you want. Yeah, it's gold. It's amazing. It. amazing. Set it steel it. walls. Holy cow. Space exploration's badass with them steel walls. Ooh. You can make steel walls with five steel plates and a concrete wall. I mean, I bet That's pretty cool, cool, actually. I like that. That's spiffy. Yeah. I could see the usefulness of it. Hey Woob, you wanna you wanna do steel walls in Space Age? That'd be kinda cool. <laughs> you know? Shining be... cities made of steel. That would be kinda cool. I agree. Woob, that would be kinda cool. Alright, now we should have multi cylinder engines going. Yep, there they go. Lovely. So now I can finally say I want to pull all the resources down and then combine things together hmm. and, wrap and then the, the top the, the topmost belt of the current bus that's going backwards is going to supply straight into the labs whenever you oh perfect down. good to go okay so now i just need to pull the sulfur back down which i can just pull right here And then what I do is I just kind of do a loop-de-loop -loop here. And I half and half belt that. And then I bring the red circuits along for the ride, like this. And then I go 20 and 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I need Cliff Explosive Man. You're going down to get him right now, as a matter of fact. I need to get some assembly machines anyway. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just mark the things I need you to destroy. That works. Mr. Cliff Explosive we Man. Find them and wreck them. 
Thank you, sir. You can see the red on the map. Mm-hmm. I just, I need more space. Right. This is the space we're exploring for now. Yes, indeed. Mm. All right, time to get these out of the way. Go away, Cliff. All right, time to die. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Much appreciated. All right, how many is that so the far? Land 12. Will be cleansed. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is a lot of blue science. I don't think I've ever actually made one this big, even in my vanilla runs. It's a lot of blue science. Hopefully, my ratios aren't off and I can actually sustain this. Do we have landfill at all? I just put landfill onto the mall over there. Okay. Do you think we have uh, enough just... to fill this little chunk of water right here? Yep. I do. In my pocket right now. Lovely. That is glorious. Crooked shall be made straight and the rough places plain. Do do do. I got some green out. I do have a few greens on. Good. Boom. Kerboom. All right. No more trees. No more nothing. They are dead to us, sir. <laughs> and literally dead. They're dead, Jim. Dead Jim. I made a deal with the devil, Jimmy. I think I'm referring to the wrong Jim. <laughs> there are many. One of them is nearly the Speaker of the House. Oh, that's true. Well, maybe not that nearly. Thank goodness. Okay. My favorite Jim is Jim Rayner, because my son James, we have never called Jim ever, so he doesn't count <laughs> yet. Until someone calls him Jim, Jim Rayner is my favorite Jim. <laughs> Where did my grenades go? They're in the bar next to the other exploding things. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and hook this all up. We're going to hook this up. And 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 that. And that. And that. And that. And, that. and that. And then once again, we're going to play the loaded onto two sides of the belt thingy dingy. And then I'm going to loop-de-loop -loop this all the way back up to that belt that you got set up. Right on. Soon we will have electric furnaces. Which will then open up our whole game plan for us. Yeah. Yay, first chemical science pack! Isn't it glorious? It really is. 11 hours in. Worse. All right, blue science is now routing to the labs. Yes. Get some. Let me just going. make. Let me just play the watch and see game to make sure that things are actually stacking up okay. Right. I think it is. It does the look like the. the ratios. Yep. It does look like the intermediates are stacking up, which is good. Mm. I'm gonna watch for a cycle or two though to see if there's any shortages. Verily. Wow! Mm -hmm. Look at that cluster of blue science coming up. Where's that? Where's that? Where's that? Ooh. It does appear that the ratio is holding. Good, good, 
good. Yeah, the ratio does appear to be holding. I am a little curious about my multi-cylinder engines, are they? Oh, you know what? The iron didn't hold as well as I expected it to. No. Oh dear. That's kind the, of important. Yeah, that's yeah. The iron did not hold. Oh wait, now it's coming back through. Did we just like are we not getting consistent iron from our train? Do we need to plop another train down there to gather more? Maybe. I didn't think I I, I maybe we just need to up the speed on the whole business. Cuz Iron's coming from... Oh, I don't actually have a radar on that train over there. And I'm closer to it than you are. Okay. All right, I'm so running back this way. Going nowhere up here. It's all good. It's so coming over here. The iron goes that way. Now the iron is all stacked up i wonder why it just like poof disappeared for a little while there that was weird that was weird yeah it was in, yeah the inconsistency of it was quite bizarre it looks like the train is just sitting in station which means the train's actually backed up so throwing another train on it's not going to do anything but in that case then like all the belts should be pretty well full up yeah i mean I think yep that's yeah the train is yeah, the train's backed up. The train did leave the station eventually, mm -hmm. but the station has not finished unloading, and now the train has just arrived again. So, yeah, the train's <laughs> backed up. Very strange. So the train's doing its job. So that means we're eating the iron somewhere where I'm not expecting us to be eating it. The Is it the going? steel? Yeah. I know that I'm feeding one of the wow. two lines of iron into steel, mm -hmm. but I'm still expecting a full lane of iron to make it down the bus. Let's see. So we got one lane going into steel. We got... Hmm... That all seems fine, actually. That all seems fine. And then that runs down that way. A little bit gets pulled off to keep the military science running. Mm -hmm. But the military science isn't very iron demanding since it's all backed up. Yeah, no, And then the sure. iron makes it down here. The iron does get pulled for the mall. Maybe that's what happened. Maybe the mall ate all the iron, so there was no iron left to make it to the science. But now that the mall's backed up again, now the iron can make its way down. Yeah, I mean, I did. I like I pulled a lot of belts, for example. I don't know, maybe. Yeah, that might have eaten it all. Who knows? Um, and then the second mall pulls some iron. Yeah, maybe the malls ate all the iron. But now that the malls aren't currently eating the iron, the blue science is working. Uh-huh. Hmm. The engines are now working again at full capacity, it looks like. Just about. Oh, oh almost. Not quite. Hmm. Maybe I should do another... Maybe I should do a third engine just in case. Oh, yeah, I see what you mean. Those are operating with bottleneck. Yeah. I don't know what exactly I think I'm doing with these rails that I'm putting down. I think we. I think in order for this to work, I'm going to need to take. If I'm going to start grabbing resources from up here north, we got to take the rails over the north side of that lake and come down on the east. I don't think it works really. I, I started running rails south. But then I don't, I don't see any future for that. I have to run it through all kinds of stuff there. There, I've thrown a, a lot third of... single cylinder engine. That should keep the multi cylinder engines happy. Good, good.
Sorry, I didn't quite catch what you were saying. What was that? Oh, no, just kind of thinking out loud about because I started running some rail up here, planning to do some landfill and just kind of put what little iron we've got up here on the grid somehow and then run rail down. But then I realized we can't really run rail south of that onto the west end of things and then expect to make it through there in any way. So we're going to have to run whatever resource, the coal up here, the stone up here, all of that's going to have to run due east and come down on the eastern side of things that way. So the rails have all got to kind of run that direction. So that's gotcha. what I'm kind of thinking my way through. So, Oh, the heat we'll shield is finally starting to get researched. Me gusta. Where is the... There's the labs. And it does appear to be enough blue science to keep the labs happy. It's starting to stack a little bit. Very good. I think it will actually stack. I think the labs won't eat it fast enough, which is a good problem to have. Yeah. Well, that's to exactly me, that's right. actually not a problem at the moment. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, it does appear that it is... Yep, blue science supply is enough to keep the labs happy. Hurrah! Nice. Good call on the 40 bajillion blue... Yeah, that was, was a lot. Blue science assemblies. But hey, I feel like the structure I got set up is pretty good. I am wasting some space on the right, but I feel like it's I pretty darn put compact, that together pretty well, yeah, though. Not much space used up there, yeah. The whole thing on the whole is pretty, pretty tightly packed in there. Yeah, I feel like I designed that pretty well, considering it was on the fly. Yeah, right? <laughs> and then considering I shoehorned in like this <laughs> third engine in there, which I did not account for. I just kind of shoehorned <laughs> it in. Still made it work. <laughs> <laughs> Still got it in there, yep. Absolutely. Yep. Do, 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 do. I need a lot more landfill and a lot more cliff explosives than I've got at the moment to make all this happen. Oh, yeah. I'm so yeah. proud of that. Yeah. That, th this that is glorious. Legit. And yeah, legit. all the ratios hold. All the multi cylinder engines are starting to stack up, which is good. That means it's all holding. And then. The green circuits and plastic is making it all the way down the line to the red circuits. Red circuits are constantly producing. Yeah, we're looking good. Happy, happy. I'm happy with how that turned out. Brilliant. Okay, so now that we have blue science, what would you like me to do, sir? Well, at this I know point... that you're railing. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to start railing. I'm going to be running just kind of up north, just trying to clear out a path to get rail through that this kind of neck up here which is going to require some exploding some things probably taking out a lot of trees and generally running rail over that direction so at this point oh yeah sir what? do you want me to expand them all then sure or i guess i can start setting up outposts for iron because i know that's going to be our first thing so i can go to any iron patches and start at least setting up the mining even though we don't have the electric furnaces yet I can always yeah. get the mining set up and then get the train stations built to sure. load things up. So that yeah, way that all we have to great. do is plop down electric furnaces and then route them into the trains. Perfect. Um, right now, though, we're still yellow belting because we don't have the iron, though. So we're going to have to eventually upgrade those to at least red down the line once we actually do get enough iron to matter. Mm. Hold on. Why did I stop red? How much iron is that going to... Oh, my goodness. Let's see. Um, oh, it was the red underground belts that put a stop to it. Because each red underground belt takes a hundred iron plates raw. Whoa! Ho, ho, ho. Because it That's takes two underground lot. belts. Yeah, each... Oh, no, sorry, not each. Because it does result in two red underground belts. But each cycle of red underground belt uh, production takes mm -hmm. two yellow underground belts and then 40 iron gear wheels. Yeah, Zeus. So yeah, a hundred plates raw to make two fast underground belts. That's nuts. So yeah, that's what stopped me. I was just like, yeah, there's no way the iron is holding that's up for that. We're not doing that. Yeah, no doubt. And then and then running red belts without red underground belts doesn't make sense because the yellow underground belts will just slow it all down. Mm hmm. So I just didn't continue the assembly when I realized, holy cow, that's eating so many gears. Yeah. That we just can't Un afford it. Sustainable, yeah. Completely unsustainable. All right. 
So let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and start gathering materials to set up some ore mining. <laughs> the blue science really does come out in clumps, doesn't it? I know, isn't it great? It looks That's so pretty, cool when it comes out. Hilarious. I like it. It's <laughs> pretty cool. Raft of them coming up. Yep. I love it. I think it looks sweet that way. Very good. Very good. Pretty sick. I love it. Why are you making barrels? What are we barreling? Uh barrels are required for cliff explosives. Oh, okay. Well, so I've cast that a little then. bit, but yeah, they just need like a little bit of steel. So I'm like, I just do it. That's um, totally fine. I was just curious. I'm like, what are you? What are, are we needing barrels for? Since yeah, when do we to... barrel in Factorio? Ever since like you know, <laughs> ever since one point one, or even, yeah. <laughs> or even what? What was it? It was like point like zero point eight. Like even before full release, they made fluid wagons fluid was already part of it yeah and they were like yeah we're we gonna go ahead and introduce fluid wagons so you don't have to barrel and train anymore you can fluid wagon and train now <laughs> and life became much happier as a result <laughs> yeah big time <laughs> but barreling out... oil putting it on trains unloading unbarreling is oh ugh. Man, the worst but apparently, cliff explosives are just a big barrel full of TNT, which I which love. Which makes so. sense. That's <laughs> pretty awesome. It actually does kind of make sense, though. Sure. All you right. just need a lot of explosives. I'm going to temporarily suspend blue science production because I'm going to eat all the belts, and that's going to eat all the iron. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to eat them all, basically. All right. Shut it all down. Stop the presses. Stop it. Okay, there's that. Give me all the belts. Give me some undergrounds. Give me some splitters. And then give me some rails. Where's the rails? rails yeah they're off on their lonesome somewhere because they they're, the... they gotta be somewhere they are yeah they're, they're on the they're on the mall I'm just trying to remember i'm where sure they're somewhere by the rest of the rail items let's see oh there they are i found them yay And then I'm going to need another stack of signals. I don't think I'm going to need another stack of chains, though. I don't use chains as much as regulars because I'm still a, I'm still a trained noob. What can I say? Well, and sometimes you need a regular signal but no chain, but you never need a chain without a regular signal. That's true. Built in, you know, you'll need more regular signals. And then, yep, sure enough, no iron plates are making it to blue science right now because <laughs> I ate, I the ate them all. Gluttonous. I ate them all. All right, I'm going to take a drive out to here and start working. Okay, yeah, great. That's a good one. Might as well clean this up here, too, since I'm standing by it. Yeah, our main base resources are almost poof. Yeah, disappeared. They they're run in. They're dying out. It's a good thing we are starting to expand our idea behind terrain goodness. I wonder how many. Uh, I'm trying to say how many um, electric furnaces we're gonna have enough metal to build before we're done. We are going to need a lot. Mm -hmm. Do any sciences still require electric furnaces? Because I know in vanilla, I believe it's purple science that requires furnaces. I think you're right. I don't know about the hell in this one. Let's see. Uh, let's see, because next up after this, blue science, and then here's rocket science. 
rocket science just comes from launching yes. satellites at first until we expand further out to produce it better i think i think there's two ways to make rocket science if i remember correctly you can definitely craft it and it is a speed module one satellite telemetry module and an electric furnace okay so that's where the electric furnaces get used as rocket science okay yeah. it ain't rocket science <laughs> here car let's get you fixed up let's get you fueled up And then let's go. No, not that way, this way. The first thing I did was immediately drive the wrong direction. <laughs> Driving I adventures am... with David. Yeah, you don't want to be in the passenger seat with me, I'm sorry. I'm never <laughs> going to figure out this whole driving business. Uh, it's not the uh, high point of the game. All right, where so is you get it? things like totally torn up and like build roads everywhere. Yeah, then it works out pretty nicely, because you're like, yay, now I have roads. But yeah, meanwhile, I'm just plowing through rocks and trees, mm -hmm. trying to dodge cliffs, which I'm not very successful at. <laughs> which is not working out great, yeah. Trying to dodge Gee. rocks, which I'm also not successful at. <laughs> oh, I think yes. I might have needed more grenades, but we'll figure that out in a bit. Yeah, I should have brought more cliff explosives with me. I'm hoping I've got enough landfill to do what I want to do in this small patch up here. Pretty yeah, sure I'm I, gonna, I should have brought more grenades for sure. I'm surrounded by trees. In, when in life have you not been able to say that? Well, I'm surrounded by trees or I need more grenades. I, I should have brought more grenades. Yeah. Ah. Well, when you go visit a school, hopefully not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sad <laughs> Americans. Yeah, it really is bad. The whole thing is that super shallow water you can run slowly through, which is I great. Hate that I hate that stuff. The, I wonder about the fish in there. I hate the shallows, though, because biters mm. can also run through it. Yep. And you can't build walls there. So you have to, like, figure out where there are no shallows and then build walls from there. It's kind of a hassle. Yep. Not cool. Oh, Let's well. see those. Maybe some lasers would be fun. Ooh, mining efficiency. Mining productivity, too, is now available. Yes, please. I think I'm going to put that right at the top of the Yeah, let's, let's, now. let's try to stretch our main base mining as best we can. Because we, we can't really afford to have it running out at the moment. No, nope, it's going to be rough if we do. We're going to be back to just like burger phasing the whole thing from scratch. Oh, make gosh, a, no. Make another starter based way off in the boondock somewhere. It was, it was, it was a fun problem to solve. I don't want to solve it again. I don't want to do it again. Nope. Not it was fun to bit. solve it one time. And one time. Yep. Yeah, I should have brought exactly some cliff though. explosives with me too, but I think I can work around the cliffs just fine. I think we'll be okay. Okay, now we can put down what few miners this patch up here will support. You can't build on shallow water. Nobody's asking you to. I filled it in. Dead nabbit. I better get enough stone out of these rocks over here, of which there are so many. Thanks, alien biomes. I know, right? Hopefully it will be enough to make what little... It was It's actually kind of annoying. Um, I was playing on a different save, just kind of as like experiments mm -hmm. kind of stuff. Sure, sure. And my alien biomes um, seed started me off in a volcanic biome. Okay. And the volcanic biome looks so cool, but there are so many freaking rocks. <laughs> like, it's unbelievable how many <laughs> rocks there oh are in the volcanic God. biome. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> it looks so good, but it was so bad. Was so hard to work with. <laughs> yeah, like, do not go to a volcanic biome without bots. Or some way to just murder rocks. Or at the very oh, least, without yeah. steel without a steel pickaxe like yeah <laughs> something something 
because oh my gosh, that was just it was a travesty in the hat. <laughs> Sounds awful. <laughs> there were so many rocks. I didn't even have to put down miners for stone for freaking ever. <laughs> I just had so many rocks in your pockets anyway. <laughs> yeah, because like you know how you, how you like in the burner phase you usually put like two to four burner mining drills up on a box and then you let the burner mining drills just throw stone into a and box. And then it's fine, yeah, sure. And then it's fine, you know. And then once ev and then eventually when you feel like it, you throw electric mining drills down on it, right? Yeah, like yeah. once you decide, all right, maybe I need bricks. Right? Now we but... <laughs> finally reached this point. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I just never threw electric mining drills down for like a good three or four hours because I had like ten, I had like ten <laughs> steel chests just full of rocks that I was literally just fast inserting onto yellow belts as needed, like <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> to run through my factory because <laughs> I just <laughs> there were too many rocks. <laughs> Couldn't do otherwise. Volcanic biomes was awful that way. It was just awful. Sounds terrible. Also, but it looks so cool. I think it might be the <laughs> coolest looking biome in the whole freaking pack. It looks so cool. But that's no excuse. But I. But you can't work in it without a lot of patience. I'm surprised I had that patience. I don't typically consider myself a patient man, but I guess I am. I don't know. That was nuts. <laughs> Just surprised you had any left, any patients left over after you know, parenting James. You know. Exactly, I didn't expect James myself to have any patients for that. James isn't especially patience demanding as children go. I'm not saying that. But That's kids. true. James is actually pretty good overall, but yeah, nonetheless, kids are demanding, James included. All right, how many miners do we have here? Eighty-nine. So that's just one short of three full yellow belts oh that's fine i can i'll just do three yellow belts and consider it you know i'm just going to consider it four yellow belts just because loading is four belts anyway mm. Why not? So there's those four belts, and then I'm going to I'm going to put electric miners here ish. I think I'm gonna put some ghosts down just so I can plot this out. So because they're only yellow belt oh no, I'm gonna build it for red belts though. So that means I want 24 on each side. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Yeah, I definitely need more grenades. Oops. Shoulda, coulda, woulda grenaded. <laughs> Let's see how many more cliff explosives we've managed to make while I've been up doing that. So we can bring some more barrels down because we're hand feeding those too. Mm -hmm. A lot of cliff explosives. I'm going to do for this thing. Oh, we can clear some stuff out. Let's see. And then I know we're not going to have enough miners for 
four red belts worth of ore from this patch, but yeah, we won't. So I'm going to put two columns then and do a two to one actually, since we're going to upgrade these to red belts before long. Mm. So I'm going to four to two it and then put two ghost columns of electric furnaces. So four to two. And then you go in, and you come out, like that. And then rinse and repeat. And then you go in. Yeah, all in all. This up here is not quite one full yellow belt of iron ore coming off his patch. Well, doing this as a matter of form. I mean, anything is anything. Yep. We'll and eventually we'll it. want the space. That's true. Clear it all out of here at any rate. And then once I have two belts of that, then I can load it into a train which I will put out here past the cliff so I don't have to deal with them. Yeah, health does take a long time to regenerate. Oh, did Actually, you accidentally like, grenade yourself? Yeah, once, like, 15, 20, 20 minutes, minutes ago. ago. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yep. I... Welcome to the wacky world of, oops, I shouldn't have did that, now I can pay for it for 20 minutes. Now I will pay. Yep. Okay. Life's hard. It's harder when you're stupid. Mm -hmm. I'm not stupid, I'm just extra stupid. <laughs> Well, I threw a grenade at my own feet, so, you know. I, I'm i definitely guilty of the same. Even <laughs> tonight, I literally did it like three or four times tonight. It's it's whatever. At least I didn't okay. do it so frequently to where I needed to use med packs. I just needed to wait the 20-minute stupid period. Right. You were stupid. <laughs> sit sit in the stupid box for 20 minutes. Oh. Yes, exactly. You, get, you pay the <laughs> stupid tax. Now I gotta sit in the stupid box for 20 minutes. I'm so sad. Wah wah. Okay, that can be used. And we can start running what rail we're gonna need off of here. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to build. Well, I guess I will have to build like where I expect the rail network to go. So that way you know like where the offshoot actually is. <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of what I'm looking at up here, too, through building, like, a main trunk sort of thing going along, and then... Okay, so there's that, and then one, two... We're doing two spaces between, right? Yes, that's what we've got on the others, I mean, it works fine. Yep, that's what I Confirm. typically use, just double-checking that that's what we're yeah. going with. Mm -hmm. Room for big poles, robo ports, whatever we need to shove in there. Yep. Whatever needs to be in the middle, exactly. Rocks, rocks, rocks. So many rocks. All the rocks. Thanks, alien biomes. Mm -hmm. so there's one complaint I have about that. alien biomes is there's just too many rocks. It is fairly extraordinary how many rocks there. We're still clearing out a little more space here. <laughs> Something about like that. I really should just go back to base and get cliffs uh, more grenades instead of hand clearing trees like I am. <laughs> you, you chopping? Yep, I'm chopping. Like some kind of primitive from the start of 
2001, a yep. space odyssey. Before yep. the monolith comes and teaches them all how to kill each other with tools. Yes. That sounds very similar to the Protoss Aeon of Strife. Oh, does it? <laughs> yeah, it actually does. The Protoss had tools, admittedly, but the Protoss were tribal. Very mm -hmm. tribal and were constantly at war with each other. Okay. Until Amon and Zel Naga came down and brought forth the Kala, which is their ability to communicate both um, conscious, unconscious, and emotional thought amongst each other naturally. Ah, uh, yes. Bringing yeah, okay. peace to the Protoss. Oh, nice. And then later on in Legacy of the Void, Amon corrupts the call and uses it against him. But Ooh. <laughs> that was his plan all along. What a jerk. I know, right? Douchebag Amon. Douchebag Amon. <laughs> but yeah. So yeah, Amon gave them a big tool and it brought peace and prosperity to the Protoss civilization for an extremely long time. Mm -hmm. Well, except for, you know, the exile and brutal murder of the Dark Templar who decided not to embrace the Kala. They were well, definitely outcast in a half. Just their foolishness then. I know, right? You're supposed to embrace the Kala, Dark Templar. Oh well, no. But yeah, the Dark Templar were definitely persecuted very heavily for not embracing the Kala. Because the Dark Templar foolishly wanted to maintain their own independent thought and emotion without being yeah, fully exposed <laughs> to literally everybody. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> No, They're like, we kind of want to be our own people. And everyone's like, screw you guys, you guys suck. Uh, We're going to brutally murder you all until a dune decided to go ahead and just let them um, go and take a different planet as a home world and essentially be outcast. A dune was kind enough for that, at least. Because a dune was ordered by the adjudicators to go kill them all. And he decided to let them go to Shakuras instead. Don't you end up fighting with... Because Dark Templar are a unit in StarCraft, right? Yes, that's correct. Um, yeah, when the Zerg attack... Ah, <laughs> uh, true. And oh, overwhelm the core... Yeah, exactly. And they overwhelm and start murdering the core Protoss. The core Protoss kind of are like, all right, we hate you guys, but we need your help. And you need us too. So let's just yeah. Common deal cause. with this. Yep. We don't like you, but whatever. We don't really have a choice because we don't okay. want to die. I don't like you and you don't like me. I like you. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Over time, they start to grow to accept each other, but man, is it a very long time before that happens. A family drama, you know. Yep. Plus, on top of that, I think the Protoss will always be tribal. Mm. Even with the Kala, they're still tribal. They they still maintain a caste system, for example. That's they nice. have respect for the different castes, but they still have a caste system. Huh. They have a Kalai caste or a worker caste. They've got a Templar caste. And then they have a Judicator caste. The Templar cast or the warrior cast, mm -hmm. the Kalai cast or the worker cast, and then the Judicator cast or your politicians, judges. Right, the administrators. Yeah, well, the people who give out orders to the Templar at times of war. Like, like the Adjudicators are the ones giving out the orders, for example, hey, go kill all the Dark Templar. Like, that's uh -huh. Adjudicator's call. The Kalai aren't allowed to make that call, neither are the Executors. So it was a really big deal when Executor Adun decided to disobey and let the Dark Templar go. Ah, sure. Because he was told to kill them all, and he was like, nah, yeah, I'm not gonna I ain't gonna. <laughs> That's just brutal, and there aren't, they aren't a threat, so come on, just let them live, it's fine. No, we can't hear their thoughts, therefore we hate them. 
That's right. They refuse to join the our society. How dare they want to be individuals? That was a fun cliff to work around. <laughs> I'm just up here wrecking like all the cliffs on this isthmus all together. Like, I'm not dealing with this. Get out of here. And I'm over here working around cliffs like, ah, it's fine. I'll figure it out. <laughs> nope. I'm not doing that. Screw this. Blow it all up. <laughs> I'm sick of this and I'm sick of you. Explosives for a reason. So sick of this, I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> oh, I didn't bring enough. Whatchamacallit? Oh, hey, we can at least handcraft stack inserters now. Oh. Wait. I didn't bring any fast inserters with me, so I'm going to ghost set up this station. Sure. How about that? And then steel chests. Yeah, the Protoss are pretty cool. Yeah. It is pretty fun how, how deep the lore has gotten on some of those frames. It's really, you know, when I was growing up, things like Diablo and, like, StarCraft and whatnot were just, like, they were just, like, goofy strategy games and click and, you know, point and click adventures, stuff like that. And what yeah. lore there was seemed pretty much an afterthought and kind of, a, oh, this would be pretty cool if this were, like, demons and stuff. Like Interestingly cool. enough, though, most of the lore I talked about actually came from StarCraft 1 and books that were written after that sure. eventually became canonized, but pre-StarCraft 2. Amon, Amon specifically was StarCraft 2. So that was introduced, that whole part where Amon decided to come back and take advantage of the collar that he had created, blah blah blah, that was StarCraft right. 2. Mm -hmm. Though they kind of sort of hinted at it at the end of StarCraft Brood War. So I think they knew that they wanted to go in general the direction they went. But they didn't mm -hmm. give a name to him or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Alright. This is kind of it. It's, it's, it's sort of like... I, it, um, you get these games that start out as they're successful games, but they're not like deep stories. And then as right. the game gets success, all of a sudden it becomes worthwhile and interesting for people to come in and say, actually, it would be pretty cool if X, Y, and Z. Like, what if the Protoss were like this, and they had this going on, and this, that, the other, that kind of flesh the whole thing out. I do find that kind of stuff pretty cool. That is really cool. Good for you guys. And then still making it work. Mm hmm. Where are the iron plates in this menu to select? Oh, here. Are question mark? <laughs> are they? Ooh, iron plates? Where are you? Okay. Oh, found them. <laughs> Goodness gracious! There's so many resources. Help. Yeah, it gets to be a lot in there. Is that water that I'm not allowed to build on? Is that what you're telling me? What is going on? Oh, maybe. Okay, that's good. All right, so that's mostly ghost setup, but still, it is set up. Go ahead and get the power pole set up. Can't be placed on space platform. Space oh, no, that's not what's going on. Where are you then? Something up here is not letting me build on, but I also can't mine it out. And I can't put landfill on it. 
Does something cool. think? Does something think it's a space platform? Well, no, so I, I, I was be. thinking that, but no, it, it, that's just part of the standard train tracks readout on the top right is it can't be placed on in, in space, basically. You can't have normal train tracks in space. Um, Which makes sense. Sure. Kind of. Um, but no, what I'm seeing instead is that there are apparently two rectangular things here that are preventing me putting rails down. But they're not actually there in any useful sense. I can't interact with them at all. Maybe if I just... It did let me throw cliff explosives at them. And now we're good. Okay, apparently they were just like little fragments of cliff that were so small as to be nigh invisible. Whatever. Well, that's kind of annoying. Mystery solved. Moving along. Do... Do we need to expand our electricity production? Uh, I haven't looked at it in a bit. Not I'll look at it in just a little might. bit once I'm done setting all this up. Mm. I'm just realizing that as soon as we turn these all on, we're probably going to brown out. Yeah, that's true. That is a lot. Oh, I found a meteorite chunk. What do you know? Just sitting out here. Very cool. Too far reach for making this far so reach much is less, amazing. So much less arduous than it might be. Thank you, far reach. We love you. I love you too, engineer. <laughs> apparently doesn't love is throwing grenades in his own face. Who knew? Well, I can't say I blame him for not wanting to throw grenades in his face. Hey, you never tried. It probably does hurt a lot. <laughs> probably does. I assume it does. Oh, I finally ran out of rails. <laughs> nice. Time to go resupply. Might as well grab some more explodey things while I'm at it. Maybe actually start setting up some real rail stuff here. Actual stations. While I'm at it, I'll grab some extra fish and feed them into our ad hoc production for uh, one of my med packs, that's what I'm saying. Okay. There's that all set up. Nice and happy. Okay, now it just needs all of the ghosts placed down, but look at that. 
Yeah, man. That's going to spit out a bunch of iron plates for us, for sure. Very good. It's not connected to power yet. There's still plenty of ghost place down. It's not connected to the rail network, but at least the base structure's there. Yeah, the layout is all there, absolutely. Sounds good to me. Let's go ahead and network this up. Or signal this up. <laughs> Would like a lot of explosives, please. Thank you. We are right hand driving, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, show. Sure. Go away, trees. Indeed. Okay, there's all the I usually stuff. space it out with big poles, but I don't have big poles. Right? It's weird to not have them. By this Maybe I'll ghost big pole just so I can space that out proper. Hmm, that's not a bad idea, actually. I should be doing that myself. Okay, there's a whole lot of those. That's good. Some of those we'll take down to feed the cliff explosive production, and some of them we'll keep in our pocket for recreational explosions. Recreational, yes, of course. <laughs> Decreational? Not recreational is correct. For sure. Okay, fish <laughs> go in this box. Thank you. And we make a few more med packs. We get 20 med packs in here. Something. Been tossing fish in whenever I think of them. Grab all these barrels. Put them down. Make lots of things to blow up cliffs. Bring lots of things to fill in lakes. All the unevenness of the world will be smoothed over. Are the space exploration big poles like? longer like do they have larger range i'm trying to remember because i know some mods do extend it out by a couple of notches because like they're people longer. like that i think they i may. do like that but yeah i feel like my signals are further spread out than they normally are because hmm. basically what i do is i take the big poles run them down the middle and then every yeah. other pole i place signals to kind of just break the rail up yeah yeah that's what yeah that suits me i do and and I feel like my my spacing is bigger than normal, mm. which isn't necessarily a bad thing. But I do wonder if the same has been done with robo ports. Because I'll often that would be nice. Thing. Yeah. Oh man. More more room in the robo ports would be nice. All right, car, come on out. Let's get some fuel in there. Oh, Let's more rails. That's what I really came base. down here for in the first place. I ran out of rails, but forced me to come back at all. Where did those go? I'm just purposefully killing trees because I'm like, screw it. If I kill them now, I won't accidentally kill them later. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, I've taken out quite a few in the course of things, which for... Pollution protection makes me feel a little queasy, but... It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It absolutely will. It'll be fine. Look at this mess of a base. It's glorious. <laughs> glorious indeed. Okay, let's go dump some of this stuff back into the mall that I don't need. Mm -hmm. Doing the same as long as I'm in town, cleaning out the inventory. Hello, I see you there. Oh yeah, how's it going? I'm doing all right. Bring greetings from the distant north of the lake. 
Greetings from the distant east. <laughs> I think I hear James crying. Oh. Poor bloke. Wonder what's up. I hope nothing scared him. Oh, that's always the worst. Silas had like sad and one awful. good night terror in his life and it was the worst. He just was like just incoherent and terrified and there was nothing you could do. Jeez, yeah. Kid. I mean, it must one. be terrifying. Yeah. In general. No doubt. Mm -hmm. Let's go and throw the don't think any there. sulfur in our inventory while we're thinking about it. Okay. I don't want stone furnaces at all in my inventory. Why are these in my inventory? Why do I have these? How long have they been here? <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, I love how we've got a whole patch of stone that we're mining and then piping down into just one assembler making stone furnaces out of it. Yep. <laughs> hey, mining productivity's up. Sweet. Uh, let's do... Let's see, what should we gun for next? Wow, the next mining productivity upgrade is not for a while. We need rocket science and then space science before we even touch that. Uh, well, that's all right. At least we've got some help now. Yeah. Lasers and maybe electric boilers? Huh. I'm going to start handcrafting some stack inserters. Higher temperature steam could be used for energy storage. Lower temperature steam could be used for crafting. So there are different kinds of steam? Oh, yeah. There's 5,000 degrees centigrade steam. 100 degrees, 165, 500, and 1,000. You can set electric that's boilers pretty... to produce steam at different temperatures. That's interesting. Wow. So instead of just having nuclear produce massive steam and water boilers produce some steam. Yeah. It's actually kind of nuts. Huh. Yeah, because there's like condenser turbines have a required temperature range that it'll work for. You've got to be above 100, but below 999. So the 500 degree steam would work. Or the 165, but not the 5,000. Yeah, that's, that's pretty insane. Go look into some of this stuff, yeah. Um, in the meantime, adaptive armor. Oh, that's right. It uses energy to self-repair. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, let's start putting some actual useful stuff on here. Uh, advanced oil, sure, sounds good. Uh, uh, rocket control units, sure. Better lab research speed, that sounds good. Actually, let's do that before the rocket control. Just juggling things around. Jetpack, so yeah. Jetpack. I'll take jetpack. Cool. Got some stuff to research now. Hey, you cliffs. Get the hell out of here. I don't want these mother effing cliffs on mother effing plane. <laughs> had it. Do -do -do. I've had it with these mother effing cliffs. On <laughs> mother effing. Novice planet, whatever. <laughs> Joe Schmo's planet of doom and destruction. Right. Well, the blue science is totally backed up now. Uh, like 1,000% yeah. backed up. We're all the way back to the source, huh? That's good. Yep. I'll take it. That sounds good. Okay, so now that I've got some stack inserters, I can go back up there and finish that. Okay, let's see. Automating electric miners. Heat shielding. What is heat shielding? What? Sulfur, stone tablets, and steel plates. Stone tablets require stone brick. Oh my gosh. 
<laughs> Everything requires eight other somethings. Stop being so complicated, S.E. Stop it. <laughs> S.E. says, you I, knew I was a snake when you picked me up. I just want electric furnaces. I don't want to build, like... <laughs> I don't want to like bust 12 other intermediate resources just to get there. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad. Like, like you almost got to treat it like a science. Like you almost got to treat it like a science. Like, okay, I need five advanced circuits. So I got to go ahead and build that structure. I need right? steel furnaces. So I'm going to have to build that structure. I need heat shielding. So I have to build that structure. And then I need steel yep. plates, which I need to yank off the bus. Like all of that just to do. It's this like thing. a, Exactly. It's like a whole new mall just to get electric furnaces. <laughs> like freaking nuts. Yep. Freaking so nuts, electric... man. And then they take five seconds to craft, which I don't remember if that's... I think that's similar to Factorio. It seems comparable, yeah. I don't think it's too far off. It's so that off. means for one assembler of electric furnaces, I need six assemblers of advanced circuits. And then I need one assembler of steel, which I do have steel furnaces right here. So what I guess I'll do is I'll stick the end result here so it can yank from the steel furnaces. Call you electric furnaces. And then prior to this, Point. I'll need to snake some resources that way. Oh, this is going to be fun. Sounds great. Gravy. Okay, let's see here. So let's work on the... Heat shielding. Oh, hello, oil. Heat shielding. Takes 10 seconds to craft. Holy cow. So that means I need heat, heat shielding. shielding. So that means I need three of those for every electric furnace I want. Do this, so I'm gonna do okay, heat shielding. And heat shielding needs sulfur, stone tablets, and steel. And like a bajillion stone tablets, that's got to go onto its own belt. And then the sulfur and steel I can combine onto a second belt. Okay. So let's go get sulfur and steel. Sulfur and steel. I shall split from the bus right here. Okay. And then steel. So for an steel belt, it's going to head that direction. But where? All the way down there. Okay. So down here. And then over. There we go. 
snake that around that way. Because that's just what I do. <laughs> don't worry about this mess I'm creating. Just just don't worry about it. Nope, it's fine. Not even that. It's great. Everything's fine. It couldn't be improved. Everything, Everything is improved. totally fine. All right, how do I make stone tablets? Stone tablets take one stone brick to get four stone tablets every 0.5 seconds. Okay. So I get eight per second, and I need 20 every 10 seconds. So to support three, so that means I need 60 every 10 seconds, and I get eight a second. So 8, 16, 24, 32, 44. So that doesn't mean I need, hold on, I'm struggling with the math here. Okay, so I need 60 stone tablets every 10 seconds. So okay. that means I need 6 tablets a second, right? So I need 6 yes. tablets a second. I get eight tablets a second per machine. So I per machine. So I just need the one machine. Okay. Mm, yeah, should be. Mm -hmm. I believe that checks out. So I can just stick it like this then. Like I'm laying down the Continental Railroad here. You're not? No, I said I feel like I am. I know, I'm just That's messing with you. I was like, problem. you're not? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought. <laughs> Do... oh, 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 oh. Okay, stone tablets. So that means I'm going to take brick here. I'm going to output the stone tablets here. And then I need to balance it. Like that should be fine. Let me just do that. Okay. That's going to output onto the far side, and then I'm going to rebalance it there. Okay, that should work. So now I need bricks. I can literally just take the bricks from here, since they're all backed up. I guess I'll do that. Why not? Why not? More sneaking around. Why not? <laughs> okay. The name of the game. Let's get this all powered on then. This monstrosity and a half powered on. <laughs> okay, time to put a, just a standard T junction between all this nonsense and call it a day. We can go up and See how connect this works. the output up there. Uh, oh, you want That's not outputting screen. fast enough, shoot. Still not outputting fast enough. Okay, hold on. Wow, that's quite the problem to have. Okay, well let's do it this way then. I'm gonna do this. And I'm going to super solve this problem. <laughs> Go. Stack inserters did it. 
What did they do? Help me output a bajillion stone tablets per Ooh. cycle. Tasty. Look at this monstrosity. That's nuts. We need to start red belting. This is kind of crazy. But yeah, it'll get the it's job done. To get there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, once we get iron production back up, I think that's got to be something we do pretty quick. Um, so wow, that's got the heat shielding plus... taken care of. Lab research speed 3 gets you up plus 40%. That's pretty darn good. Just nice. That. And then I think I'm going to steal... I don't know. I'm probably going to regret this. No, that'll be fine. Be great. I'm going to regret it, but I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> good on you. I support this decision. I'm not sure if you should. <laughs> Seems like a bad idea. This kind of does seem like a bad <laughs> idea. <laughs> but I'm going to do it anyway because I I'm love it. feeling lazy. You have my full throated support. Okay, well, as long as I have your support. Or enablement, you know, however you want to parse that for yourself. That's probably a better word. Because if you if you knew what I was doing, I wouldn't have <laughs> Don't watch, it's disgusting. <laughs> okay, that'll do. Now we need to signal that nonsense up. Let's see here. Actually, you know, I think I only need half a belt of that nonsense. Hey, okay. that takes care of everything we sh Oh, no, it doesn't. Hold on. I'm still missing. Oh, no, I'm good. I'm good, actually. I'm good. I've already got that here because I totally planned that out. All right, we have electric furnaces. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Do not pay attention to how I did it because it is <laughs> awful. I am proud and not proud of what I have done. All right, fine. You can look at it and laugh. There we go. Well, Here's the end result here. right here. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I see no flaws in this design. Yep, I'm totally not stealing red circuits from Blue Science. I'm totally not stealing red... <laughs> like, that's the part I regret the most, because I'm just like, I'm, I'm, I'm totally just going to steal red circuits from Blue Science. <laughs> Because I don't want to do another line of red circuits. Screw that noise. I'm just going to steal Very from nice. Blue Science and call it a day. Okay, Very fine. Nice. You know what? I will just add to this line here then. One, two, three. I'll add like six more red circuits to this line. And then that'll make up for it. That'll make up for what I'm pulling because I need five. So if I add an extra one, it'll be fine. <laughs> That's awesome. And that one like that, and then here, you're turning that way, on the right, you're going like that. Then you are worried because it might be coming in from over there, I guess that makes sense. Neither of you At least really that's really easy to do. To. At least this design is really easy to add on to. Hmm. Extensibility so just... is a major feature. That's a big deal. Yeah. So I can just be like, hey, I'm just going to throw like six more on here and life is good. So that way I'm not stealing from Blue Science without actually covering what I'm stealing. <laughs> All right. Now I feel a little bit less bad about it. Because now I'm overproducing for Blue Science, so stealing from it's not a problem anymore. That's, that's good. Yeah, sure. And we already have 19, 20, 20 electric furnaces. Hooray. I've only got one assembly machine working on it, so that might be a little slow for us, but yeah. at least it's working. Yeah, we got some anyway. That's good. 
Oh, do 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 do. You think okay. I'd have memorized how to s properly signal a three way junction? Oh, that reminds me. I actually meant to improve my junction there leading to my leading to my outpost there. And since I've got mm -hmm. some handcrafted stack inserters, I can Hey, we'll fix I it can up. fix that. Enhance. Up. Enhance. Zoom in. Enhance. Zoom in and enhance some more. Yes. Do all the zooming and enhancing and the zooming in and the enhancings. Oh my gosh, I grabbed the wrong poles. How silly of me. I have to grab those ones. Okay. And now I need belts, because I always need belts. Who doesn't? Because I am the belt lord. May his pants never fall. Yes. Agreed. Wow, you have quite the extensible thing going on there. I think I can help that you with that wrong. junction. Yeah. I'm just kind of tossing a bunch of stuff down. It's not ideal. So let's see. Uh, taking a quick look at it. Hold on. So let's see, you've got chain in with that link in there, that's fine. Then you got chain, 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 rail out, that's fine. And then you've got chain, and then chain rail, that should be fine. Chain, chain. I assume you can't put a chain right there because there's no slot for it, right? Yeah, it's a little too small, which I'm yeah. wondering if I've, like the dimensions on this are just not quite right anyway. If you could put a chain there, that would be ideal going out. That's good. Yeah. And then you have then you have rail going here with the desire to Okay, so you're probably gonna have to change this one to a chain and then mm. chain here and here for this. So that way trains can go down down from the right, down through that intersection. If you know what I mean. Uh, yeah, because that's the other level of complexity we're dealing with here, right? Is we've got the whole other block for the lower junction. Um, yeah, so chain, chain. I, I I doubt you'll be able to put a chain in that midder in that middle marker that I did. Yeah, no, yeah, this yeah but, this, this will, this will work. Yeah, but if you could yeah. chain here, that should still be okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's not going to be perfect, but I think it'll be good enough. And then you've got so you can handle I mean, all the that direction. Are you can handle that direction. But... Yeah. Then you can handle this direction and that direction. You can handle that direction and soon you'll be able to handle that direction yeah i think you've got the i think you got all the directions covered if i were just to put this down as a blueprint here for that ghost those in oh just make sure that you put a chain right here then just at least there oh yeah we can okay yes yeah, so that's good there we go i think you're i think you're okay there yeah, I, mean, I, I think it's not ideal, but it's covered. So I'll do the same basic pattern for this down here and lay those out. Do we you? I'm just now remembering that our brick setup was extremely temporary. We should probably convert that to electric at some point. Because we're not yeah, feeding sure. coal to it or any other fuel source. We were hand feeding it. Yeah, we were hand feeding coal. I've been using that as a dumping ground. Which Same. You know, has been getting us to a certain point. but It has, but eventually we're going to run out of bricks. Yep. But for now, it is fine. All right, I'm going to oh, go no, over no, there. Oh, and... shit, don't do that. Why is there not an undo? There, go. there, there actually is. If you control Z, you can undo. Or it'll really? at least mark it for deletion. Oh, yeah, which is... Kind of different. Well, um, if you have personal logistics, though, the undo will will mark it for deletion, and then your bots will take care of removing it for you. Oh, fair enough. That's true. And then if you continue to undo, it'll place ghosts down of what you used to have there before. Ah, that's cool. Yeah. So once you do have personal, so bots, that it works is really well. a that's slick. yeah, exactly. It is a it is a control Z, but it works for bots. It doesn't put it mm. back for you just can't do that on your lonesome yeah but it does sense. work for bots 
and go so that way you at least know what it is you're replacing but yeah mm -hmm. okay that's great okay so now we've got that whole trunk running up and all the different resource patches up there can build off of that eventually eventually my way cliffs i do not no. move aside for cliffs cliffs move aside for me cliff bars are amazing though <laughs> we're going on a hike with a professor at university a whole bunch of kids with him just a bunch of students roaming around up the hills above provo and he pulled out a cliff bar <gasps> at one point i'm like you like those he's like oh, i hate them eat them by the I am... box full <laughs> i'm one stack inserter short i'm so sad Oh no! <laughs> I am so sad. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so sad. I'm just like, no. <laughs> oh, no! Damn it! Damn it all! I am the saddest I have been in a very long time. <laughs> it's just so sad. <laughs> all right, Poor what else David. was I doing with this thing? Poor, I was... Poor David. Oh, yeah, I was going to fast and sorter this stuff. Okay. So at least the only thing that we have to do is come back out here with electric furnaces and then mm -hmm. put a train on it and we'll be all set. And as far as that smaller iron outpost that I put up there that I filled in half the forest for, it's not much. But hooking that up, we would want to smelt that on site as well and just put that onto a train from there, yeah? That's the sort of structure we're dealing with. Wait, what? You, well, so oh, for that one? Yeah, yeah, this little bit up here. Yes, yeah, so that little bit up there. I would still say, yeah. yeah, let's smelt it into plates and load it onto a train. Yeah, load it that way rather than... Or maybe that. with how small it is, maybe it would just be better to load it up and then run it through existing structures, but I'm not 100% sold on that. Maybe yeah, just run I... it through one structure of electric furnaces to smelt plates out of it, maybe? Honestly, what I'm wondering about is setting up just a whole smelting block. Well, that's what we, we originally do... wanted to do, is we wanted to set yeah. up a, a smelting block. So in that case, so... I shouldn't be setting up this smelting column at all, then. This should be a oh, that's... pickup. Oh, then. okay. Well, okay, yeah, me... you've already got that. Well, since I don't have it set up anyway, I can quickly fix it. No worries. Let me just get this fixed. That actually makes my life a little bit easier. I don't have to set up the smelting columns here. We just run all the ore onto the trains. And then run the and ore then... trains to the blocks. Mm -hmm. For smelting. That does that will increase the number of trains we're going to need, though. Yes. Because ore is only stacked to 50 instead of 100. But I think we can make that work. As long as we make an efficient enough rail system. Yeah, because yeah, ore is stacked to 50 and plates stacked to 100. So the, the whole mining patch to smelting would require one ratio of trains, whereas the offloading of plates from the smelting station back to the main base would require a different ratio. Yeah. That's interesting. Like, basically, interesting. in order to go... Yeah. I th Well, I don't know how many more trains it's going to need, because we're still going to need trains to go to the central smelting area. Mm -hmm. And then pull the ores off of the central smelting area. Sure. And then do you want... I'm assuming you want dedicated city blocks to smelting each smeltable resource, so that way we're not trying to mix, filter, and match. Yeah. that's So that's like we'll have like idea. an iron city block smelting and then a copper mm -hmm. city block smelting. Okay. Because mm -hmm. we could yeah. try to build it super compact and use filters and all that fun jazz in order to get the right trains into the right thing or build yeah. circuitry logic in order to get that done. Like say, yeah, which, hey, turn on this the... train station if you need this resource and then yeah, the once, come and once, get once, it. Once, once, the total, once the total amount of iron ore in this section of things reaches zero, then it's free to log to take on copper or whatever else. Yeah, but that's that feels a little too complex to me. Yeah, that seems unnecessarily complex. Yeah, it, it has might a just certain be... appeal of that, but not enough to actually do it. It does, because it'd be a fun problem to solve for learning how to do circuitry better. Maybe right. putting us ten percent as good as as, at, as Dosh instead of just one percent as good as we currently are. <laughs> right. But that's but not cool. it's not a um... necessary problem to solve because yeah, we just build a city block for each resource. 
yeah. and then train it into wherever we need it without yeah, the need of circuitry. And then from there, the only circuitry maybe we might want to do is turning the station on and off if things are backed up. Yeah, true. So then that way we're not just having idle trains just full of stuff waiting. We yeah. could have like a we can have a waiting station or something near the city blocks. And then when the station turns on, then the trains will stop waiting in the waiting station and go get the resource that the base yeah, needs. Oh, that's true, that'd work. Hmm. And that's a little bit easier to circuit up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You basically just check to see whether or not the buffer chests at your loading station are empty or mm -hmm. half full or something, you know, some kind of specified thing in the chest, right? Read right, the chest, right. make sure that the con the contents of the buffer chest aren't totally full. And if it's not totally full, then go ahead and... Well, hold on. Yeah, then go ahead and enable the, the train station so that you can get more resources into those buffer chests. So mm -hmm. at the drop-off point, you would, you would build that logic. So if at the drop-off point the buffer chests aren't totally full, then mm -hmm. go ahead and call a train. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, leave it not calling trains. Interesting. Yep. Something like that, I think, could work. Yeah, it might really help with the efficiency of things. That is an interesting idea. Well done. I'm starting to get concerned about how far the pollution cloud over here is drifting beyond what we know. Right around the corner from what you're smelting. Yeah, as soon as I... As soon as I get this set up, I'm going to go exploring over there. That'll probably have to be a next time project, though, because it's almost yeah, it's, it is getting late. Yeah, I was thinking the same. So I think before I dive in on getting anything else set up for this, I think I'm going to call that little trunk of rail there my magnum opus for the evening. Call it good. Nice. Uh -huh. Wandering over this way just to have a look see. I'm just cleaning things up. I train. Things better hooked up. Because I like things clean, even if I'm not Absolutely. building everything cleanly. Absolutely. Hence my monstrosity for electric furnaces, but still. <laughs> Pleasing taste, some monsterism. Gotta have some Jekyll and Hyde together, right? <laughs> you can't just have Jekyll. It's a little uninteresting that way. You gotta have some Hyde read that novel i did not i've just heard horror stories oh of yeah this yeah, video course. game oh i <laughs> i, I haven't even recall there was a pretty bad one one of those notoriously bad games it Wizard is Quest. notoriously bad i kind of need to play it just to say i played it <laughs> right, i've right, seen right. enough gameplay of it to know exactly what i'm getting into and i think <laughs> i could manage but it is a bad game 100 <laughs> percent how much time would you spend on it to have the full experience? Um, well, considering it's an NES game, the time spent on it would be skill-based, right? So if I sure. could get good at it fast enough, <laughs> then it'd be okay. So it depends on how fast I can get good at it. It yeah, is sure. painfully difficult in places. Sure. But, again, I think I could manage. The Angry <laughs> Video Game Nerd would be really sad if I played it, though. <laughs> because he's he's been warning people for 20 years not to play it not to play yeah of course his very first episode on youtube was a dr jekyll and mr hyde nes thing and then like <laughs> 10 it's years later he did a follow-up and then very recently for this halloween he did another follow-up where he finally <laughs> beat the game just to like <laughs> prove how bad it is because in the previous two episodes he didn't ever beat it he just talked about how awful it is, right? It was just terrible, and why would you? Yeah, yeah. but this episode, he's like, I'm going to actually beat it, so that way I'm not ever going to revisit it ever again. You guys can leave me the hell alone. I'm not playing <laughs> it anymore after this. Like, <laughs> There's not going to be a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde re-re-re-re-revisited. <laughs> and I'm like, I get it, dude. Not I totally get it. Not doing it. Not doing it. Fair enough. Ooh, there's a lot of copper out here. Yeah, it's not bad. 
It's kind of hard to see beyond the cloud because beyond the cloud is a lake. I'm yeah, there's a lot of the water boat. over there. We'd have to get around the edge. Oh, I, I have found some buddies here. Yes, yes. Do you want I should exterminate them? I do still have defender bots on my person. What if you got the wherewithal? I don't know if I do or not. I think I still have some. I've got bots but on I, me. And I've got I, med packs I, on me. I think I could do it. And they are sitting on top of some iron. Ooh. Which will be that nice. That is the main crime that indigenous peoples can commit, is to exist on top of exploitable. Well, then I'm going in. <laughs> I've got some more med packs, and I'm not too far either, so, uh, you know. Excellent. I don't have any defender bots on me. We have increased the robot follower account, too, which is nice. Now I'm running in there with mm -hmm. 15 instead of 10. Very nice. And that's working out rather nicely, actually. Oh, yeah, go, my defender more. bots, go. It's a nice little choke point there. Yeah. Oh, I found more guarding oil up here. <gasps> oh, crap. Yeah, I was sitting just north of you there, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, but that's a much bigger base. But I'd still have to take it out if we want to get that oil. Or get that iron. But even to get the iron I've got set up, we're going to have to take them out. Yeah, because the pollution's going to get there soonish. Like, very quick. Um, uh, yep. I don't have enough med packs for this. I'm going to have to turret creep. Me. Okay, if you I'll can hand them yeah. over, I'll go in with more defender bots. Absolutely. And then yeah. deal with them. Let's see, I forget. Can I get your... Uh, can I just do this? Say, you get I think I can steal them from your inventory. Hey, okay, I gave them looks to like you, you got them. Go. Nice. Very cool. I'm going to heal up real quick. Oh, and I forgot okay. if you just hover over a resource and press Q, it starts putting down miners for you. That's cool. Auto -select. That is cool. I forgot about that, too. Well, little, oh, this is not going to be a fun base. I can try to draw some of them off. I've got grenades. Mm. Don't put yourself in danger. You just gave me all your med packs. Yeah, this is also true. Ooh. You just put yourself in danger. I totally did. It not really good. helped. This is it's really not good. Run to me, run to me, run to me. If you can. I'm running to you. <laughs> Couple of well placed grenades. The only well placed <laughs> grenades of the night, but it saved my butt, so I like it. Nice, really well done, man. And the base is dead. <laughs> Thanks for the med packs here. Let me give you some back because <laughs> that'd be great. I'm about half health here. I can't. I can't drop the heal on you. Can't. Oh, I just did. Cool. I can drop the heal right. Oh, on you me. can just heal other people. Oh, that's cool. It has cool. to be very precise, though. I had to click on you. Like on, yeah, uh huh? Not just yeah, like on, dirty. on. Yep. But nonetheless, you should have some of your med packs there we go. back. It seems to have worked. Yeah, excellent. All right, I just gave you five. <laughs> Yep, perked. That'll do. Oh, oh, hi there. Oh, yeah, we are we got, like, the neighborhood is pretty rough out here. Oh, man. I don't want a neighbor. I don't want a rough neighborhood out here. I just want to mine resources. They're guarding some more, like, tiny bits of iron that are hardly <laughs> worth the trouble. Works. Yeah, no, mostly just because they're going to come kill us if we're not careful. Nice. Do the wiggle dance. Even though they shoot faster, the wiggle dance still is relatively effective. Nice. Okay, nice. that's taken care of. Good, good. I'm just worried about the neighborhood around this smelting, this mining thing we're setting. We've got some outposts going out. That means we got... That means we have to clear the cover. area. Mm -hmm. Hey, you're hey, getting you jetpacks. Ooh, is this oh, more iron here? Nice, that's good. Yay, more iron! How much is that? 2.7 million? I'll take it. Yeah, we'll take that. Not as good as the 6.9 from down there on the south end of that we just cleared off. But... Damn, man. Okay, okay. Wait, where did we clear off the 6.9? That, that first patch did just a few seconds ago just to the southeast of that oil. Oh, yeah, I see that. 7 million iron. Yeah, we're definitely going to just eat both of those. Plum. Yep. We will eat those plums. What's that cliff? You don't want to be there anymore? You got it. Yes, sir. I will happily oblige your destruction. All right, I found some more buddies up here. 
Yep, that's a pretty good sized. Uh oh, I pissed him off. I got too close. Uh -oh. <laughs> I'm good. Defender bots saved my life. As Yay, always. defender bots. Because that's what they do. They defend me. Yeah, they're good at that. More medium biters than this one. Not a fan. Don't care for it. No, sir. Okay, it's been taken care of, but they've got some neighbors right up here. Mm, right north of them. <laughs> They're just thick and... All right, let's do it again. All right, hold on. I'm going to set up a turret line this time. To little retreat. Yeah. And then inch that up a little bit. There we go. See, now I pissed them off. Okay. And now let's throw down more defender bots. So I've got a retreat. Oh, yeah, Let's those go. worms are mean. They are. Oh, this running on sand is bad news bears. Oh, oh really bad news bears. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Drawing that fire. sand is too slow. That sand is way too slow. All right, I'm going to have to turret creep some more. Or I'm gonna have to do the old tried and you know what? Screw how screw the turrets themselves. I'm just gonna dump them in there with far so reach. They just attract, yeah. Like this. Watch this. Oh wait, hold on. Watch this. I'm a genius. You gonna marvel at my genius? There, see. Hey. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> <That'll> do. <laughs> I'm a genius. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna Thanks lose turrets. Reach. I'm gonna Yep, yeah, I'm gonna yeah, lose gonna, turrets. I'm gonna lose rounds, but you know what? I'm not you know, <laughs> You're not gonna die. Yeah, you know what you're not gonna lose. I'm also gonna lose all my repair packs, repairing them all back up before I pick them all back up. Oops. But again, I'm not dead, and the base is dead, so... Yep. They're dead Victory. They're not. That's a win. Victory. That's super turret creeping, because Far yeah. Reach lets me do it. <laughs> far Reach is just lets you not worry about these things. Far Reach is like, oh, hey, you want to put a billion turrets down right in their base and load it with magazines? Sure. Look at that. I can do that, no problem. Sounds Let's like do it. Fun, absolutely. Yeah, we can murderize their base. That's totally fine. Takes a little while to pick everything back up, but you know, whatever. <laughs> I'm a quality of life mod, but I'm not a quality of their life mod. That's right. I think I only lost Fair like five here. turrets, actually. Eh, I did well use 150 depressed. rounds, though. Wow. That's kind of, oh, dude, more well, probably because I lost some in those five turrets I lost. Sure. My gosh, running through the sand is the worst. <laughs> All right, let's up. set up another wall of turrets here. Laser turrets? Yes, please. I will research laser turrets. Follow a robot count up? Yes, indeed. Slow turret creeping, yes, let's continue the slow turret creeping. There we go. Can Are I run Lubricant faster on the screen over here? Is Lubricant a separate research item in vanilla? Or does yes, it, it is. Along with... Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. Yes, because it's produced in the chemical plant, not straight from the refinery. Alright. pretty wide open up here. Ain't too bad. Some villages, but... It's pretty wide open of any exploitable resources, too, so... I guess I shouldn't be so excited. Uh-oh. Doo-doo-doo. Oh, is that you taking turret damage? Yep. Yeah, okay. Yeah.
That was a very expensive base to kill, but it is dead. <laughs> like, that was a very expensive base to kill. I think I, think I can't do that again. A lot of turrets. But, yep. Yeah. I gotta go back to base and lick my wounds. That was yeah. brutal. About that time, anyway. But oh well, that base is dead. It will not return because we do not have expansion on Novice. Yep. It's not That's this time. Good. That's something I'm working on on the side. <laughs> not too shabby. Definitely going to have to grab some fish on the way back to feed your assembly machine for med packs, too. Yeah, I've got 200 in my pocket right now. Nice. I'm going to see if I can gather a whole bunch on the way back, too. There's a lake right here I can That's steal true. from. Yeah, that's true. So I can steal a whole bunch and bring that back down. Still got my car. Do you dare ride with me? <laughs> I think it would be highly amusing, and I have five repair packs. Also, did oh, you know if you use a deconstruct planner, you can highlight the fish and it stops them from moving. Does it re Oh, see, I, I like the highlighting, but I didn't notice that it holds them there. That's really good. That's downright unfair. It's like fishing with dynamite. Well, I mean, they are just fish in a barrel after all. Big naturally occurring barrel. Yep. Like grabbing fish from a barrel. Because <laughs> we're not fishing. And we're not <laughs> shooting them. Long arms. We're just grabbing them with our fishy fishman arms. Just call me Poseidon, Lord of the Deep. There you go. That'll work. Or... Yes, sir, Poseidon, sir. Or Ulmo, the Valar of the waters in the Silmarillion. What's that person's name? Ulmo? Ulmo. Ulmo. Like the Poseid yeah, the Poseidon of the Silmarillion. Oh. Like a Pokemon? Cerulean City badge? Yes, like that. <laughs> Just like I don't know the Ceruleans. Because the only Ceruleans <laughs> I know were the is Misty who I beat to get the water badge. <laughs> Alright, I got a million fish. Oh, I have almost 400 fish. That's enough for me. I've got... Put them where they go. I've got 190. That'll definitely do a lot of good. Yes, that'll get us plenty med of med packs. Expensive. Yep, and I just chewed through like 20 of them. <laughs> so, But again, at least that base is dead. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm going to really... go and throw the car down. You can join a few okay, days. Okay, all right, here we go. I got my, med, my repair packs at the ready. Da, 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 da. Speaking of, I do need to get more repair packs back at base too. Hmm. Are we automating those supplies? Whack. I think we are. Somewhere. So too. Somewhere. No, you're pretty good, actually. I'm, I'm impressed. Moving in well, a good clip, and I mean, sometimes you just decide that it's worth taking the hit with the trees, but that was surprisingly skillful. I'm getting but better. I'm just not there yet. <laughs> <laughs> May you get there someday. I will I will eventually learn how to drive these as well as I can drive Mario Karts. <laughs> now that would be amazing. You're like power drifting all around clumps of trees and stuff. That would be sick. That would be pretty I'm bad not going to lie. I feel like I'm pretty good at Mario Kart. Sure. So I mean, if I could if I could ever drive Factorio cars as good as I can drive Mario Kart cars, I would be the best Factorio car driver in the world. Right. I don't care who you are. You can be Dosh. You can be you can be Nephrims, <laughs> the speed running master of Doom. I don't care who you are. I would be the greatest car driver in the history of Not this game if I could drive as good David. as I can drive Mario Kart. Absolutely. And I'm not even that particularly skillful at Mario Kart when I look at other like world record holders and stuff. Like they sure, drive man. insane. All right, repair packs, repair packs. Fish I could have sworn I've got you automated somewhere. Maybe I don't. Well, like, what do we need for med packs? Uh, or repair just, uh, packs. Oh, repair stone, packs. Stone, 
Stone, iron, and copper. Yeah, that's easy peasy. Could have sworn Absolutely. I'd be automating that somewhere. It's Stone, so iron, copper is easy. Maybe it's just it. Maybe it's such a no-brainer. I totally spaced it and didn't do it. Hang on, recipe icons on the map show. Um, I don't think I have it actually. I'm not. No, no, I'm not seeing them. All right. Well, let me go and just throw some together here. See how do I want to do this, actually? Carefully, because I've got the iron there, the copper here, and the stone here, but it's all greatly separated. You know what? Maybe I'll just do it in a completely different location. Or you know what? Maybe I could even just do it right here. Sloppy as hell, but maybe I'll just do it right here. Yeah, you know what? The little interstices, the little spaces in between things. That Cram them in. Why not? Oh, yeah. So let's see. There's my copper. And then here's my stone, but I need to do a little bit of that goodness and a little bit of this goodness. Actually, I need to do that one more bag. There we go. Okay. It's not elegant, it's not clean, but here they are. <laughs> the repair packs are up. It's lovely. There. They are up. <laughs> it's not pretty, it's not clean, but it's there. <laughs> right there. <laughs> Let's see. Ta -da. Absolutely. Perfect. A thing of beauty is a joy forever. Dang straight. And we have 250 electric furnaces. Hey, that's good news. We can start doing some real stuff with that. Yeah. That's been cruising along the whole time we were out and about. All right, so let me drop all this fish off. Fish. Oh, I don't have any more iron. I thought I had some more iron ore sitting there taking up space, but I don't. Okay, I think I've got Throw down these turrets the and them. repair them. Oh yeah, because they're going to be taking up a lot of extra spaces in your inventory that way. Yes, they are. When's our next uh, tool belt upgrade due? I don't know when that comes up. I don't know, because I know that we just finished one not too long ago, yeah. and it's really yeah, nice finished. having the extra, like, five slots. Mm. Kind of wish they gave us go. more slots per upgrade, but... Yeah, They're right. kind of jerks that way. Tool belt four is all the way in space science. Okay, There's a lot of other stuff we need first. Dang. Man, our our space exploration dude, he's kind of a jerk. <laughs> Who's responsible? Damn it, Arendelle, you're kind of a jerk. <laughs> what an asshole. <laughs> are we are we automating steel chests? I thought so, somewhere. We... I know for sure we're doing iron yes. chefs. Oh, here they are. Coming up on it right there, yeah. Lovely. So I can get rid of these iron chests I've got then, replace them with steel. Good, good. Where was I doing the iron chests? I know I was doing them pretty early on. So they must They're be up on the here north end of things, I think, yeah. Like way up top. Because, you know, it's just iron, so it was probably one of the first yeah. things I did because it's a really low-hanging fruit. Mm -hmm. Yep, here it is. It's a very low-hanging fruit. Okay. So there's that. Let's see, what else can I get rid of in my inventory? Not very much, actually. Oh, I can get rid of these small poles. Where do I have those? Right here. Okay. All right. My inventory is pretty clean. Now let me just go get grenades. Where are you gathering gr grenades from? Just from your military yank, science? Yeah, I've been yanking them off the military science production, yeah. Nothing fancy. Makes sense. 
Yeah, our blue science totally stacked up. We're way over producing science. We could build more labs, but I don't know if we need the faster research. We're not keeping up with our research as is. Yeah, that's right. That's what I'm doing. Get these. There we go. That's two hundred and thirty five grenades super fast. Mm. Thank you. Uh, I guess I'll pull ammo off of your ammo belt too. Because we're not storing red ammo anymore, are we? Oh, we are. We are down here with the defender yeah. bots. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yay, go me! Go right. past me, you were a smart person. Unlike <laughs> current me, who is super lazy and just throwing random assembly machines in between random lines <laughs> and saying good enough. That'll do. It's fine. It'll all be fine. It will be. <laughs> it will be. This is just our starter base after all, or at least that's what I'm going to keep telling myself. Indeed. Until we city block and figure out how that all works. That's going to be a fun thing to do. Mm-hmm. We do need to explore a little bit more to the southeast, but that can be a next time problem. Just to yep. kind of see if there's any other buddies nearby that part of the cloud. Yep, yep, yep. But yeah, really well done. We got we got railings done. We got an outpost near we got two outposts nearly done. One one completely done. Another one nearly done. Mm -hmm. We got blue science done. Yeah, so, that was clutch. That's yeah. a big deal. And somehow miraculously we're still surviving on just two lines of iron, one of which <laughs> is being converted completely to steel. So yeah, I'm just kind of impressed at how little <laughs> iron we are managing to do all this with. Uh huh. Yep. Hooray for things backing up because if our factory was constantly needing it, our factory would not have it. Yeah, I guess. Where's our. Let's see. Oh, oh, interesting. It's got construction robotics listed before. What do we need? You, we need. Oh, oh hey, you need... fixed brick production. Nice. I didn't realize little, you did well, that. I, I supplemented it a little bit anyway. Well, still, that's awesome. Yeah. Big uh, electric engine. What? <laughs> it's necessary for robotics. That's what we're kind of... They need big engines? Edging tour, apparently. Dang. Large, multi-phase, brushless motors. So, yeah, there you go. On the horizon. All right. Remind me what the problem is with these... Lighted big poles. Oh, concrete. That's the problem. How do we make concrete? Oh. I should probably do that soon. Because I'm getting real sick of not having big poles. Yeah, that's true. I, th I think we did a little bit of concrete at some point for something. But that may have been in our other playthrough before we started Vessi. Yeah. Let's Don't see. Recall. So concrete concrete is iron stick, stone brick, sand, and watery. So yeah, it's kind of a pain. I can see why we haven't done it yeah. yet. Mm -hmm. But we got to do All it. Right. So I think that's yeah, going to be my project for next time because I need big poles. I'm getting real sick of it's running mediums big everywhere. It's a pain in the butt not to have them. I quite agree. They are a pain in the butt. So that is my next project for next time, as long as I can remember. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Sounds good. Sounds good. I'll right. be able to hop on at some point this coming weekend. I think Saturday night again would work. That sounds fantastic to me. Looking forward to it. Yeah, that'd be good. That's going to be awesome. Dave again on my end, just to... Same here. For redundancy's sake, and then sign off. Good times, man. This is coming along. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. Making some kind of some kind of progress, anyway. Still feels like oh, yeah. vanilla with a little, some extra pain in the butt, but we'll move but on. But it's going to soon. explode, in it's going to explode. Yep. Once we Quite. get to space, it's going to explode real fast, and then I'm going to be wondering what the hell's going on real fast. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> What's <laughs> happening? What are we spaceships. doing up here? I'm sending resources to other planets with a giant cannon. Yeah, we'll be good. I mean, I mean that's a legit idea, actually, yeah. from what I understand. That's, yeah, that's something you can actually do, yeah. There are resource delivery capsules you can fire out of cannons into uh, off to other planets. It's cool. Yeah, but like even in real life, it's a concept that apparently oh. has merit, especially yeah. on weaker, weaker gravity planets, smaller ones. Like oh, hands. interesting. Sure. 
So you're not like the terminal velocity is not quite as much. Yeah, exactly. There's um Yeah, and then you you combine the the cannon, basically it's a big cannon. Um with um in space rotating sling arms to basically catch what the cannon is shooting out in the orbit. Oh and the gosh. arms catch it and then spin around and sling it wherever you need it to sling. It's pretty cool. There's a there's a Kurg's Gazette video I watched like two years ago on the subject. I, now I kind of want to rewatch it. But he went into pretty good detail about it. it like we're like with the technology we have, we can almost already do it. We just can't get to planets easy enough to actually leverage it. Yeah, there's no use case for it at this point. <laughs> we, we, but we, like we, we could totally do it like on the moon, for example, with its weaker gravity, or we can go to like one of Jupiter's or Saturn's moons and do it there start getting resources from there and then literally just launching it into space grabbing it with basically space slingshots <laughs> big space slingshots and then slingshot it towards earth or wherever we need to slingshot it towards whatever planet we're living on at the time whether we've terraformed venus or terraformed mars sanity it's pretty course, sweet we gotta we gotta make sure earth survives first we'll see yeah, that's gun. true. In order to get to Mars, we still have to survive Earth. <laughs> My retirement plan is to die in the climate wars. <laughs> All right, on that happy note. On that happy note, I suppose I will. <laughs> I'll talk to you tomorrow. Are you going to be yes. at the at the lightning thing tomorrow? Yes. Yeah, I'll be there. All right, me too. So I'll see you tomorrow then fun. for sure. And then yeah, we'll it's hang fun. out again this weekend. It'll be All awesome. Right. Sounds good, man. Sounds good. We'll talk to you then. All right, catch you later. Well.